Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Baalbek, Lebanon. One of the best places in the world to see ancient Roman temples. The city is located two hours east from Beirut and here we're gonna see ancient Roman temples and then after this we're gonna go have some of the best pies in the country, Baalbek lamb pies. So Nico, the first temple right outside the complex here is the temple of Venus, Venus god of love and fertility. All the architecture, all the stones have uh, stuff in it to show love and fertility. We're gonna see more temples inside. Let's go. This area has been inhabited since ancient times, right? Thousands and thousands of years. Eventually, Alexander the Great came through here and then it was colonized by the Romans. So the price for foreigners is 15. So whatever that is right now, I think it's less than a dollar, right? and 10, 10 for Lebanese. We're gonna enter the big courtyard where they used to make the masses, sacrifice the animals, make big uh, celebrations. They have the altar in the middle. This is the big courtyard, one of the biggest in Lebanon. So this is the entrance to one of the temples? This is the entrance, the hexagonal entrance. It's together here and here is the big courtyard place for all celebrations, ceremonies. As you enter, you can see massive stone bricks, right? It's all sandstone, right? Yeah, they, oh, so it's a mixture? Yeah, they, they used to mix stones. The, the first people who built this uh, used the local stones. Then the Romans, uh, they were trading with other uh, cultures for stones. They used to give them something and take some better stones. So they used many stones. Look at the size of these walls. So thick ginormous so this is a door right here is the courtyard we were talking about right it's massive so it's all ruins you have some parts where it goes really deep and then over there just like more and more stones and what's that like, I guess an altar right that's, that's what we're talking altar. about yeah it was in the middle people would gather here huge amounts of people this was a big Roman uh, city people would gather here in large amounts watch the ceremony eat feast drink wine chill yeah that's it and then and to the left and the right we have two different temples right and over there another temple so mo yeah. multiple temples on these grounds we have the the biggest one standing Bacchus temple but here we had a bigger one but it's mostly fallen only a few columns left this is the Jupiter temple so all the columns that you see around the courtyard were just internal structure this is not part of the temple you can see multiple columns over here a few in the middle like two or three on that side and over here we have two beautiful ones. Look at this, what a massive structure. It's incredible. Huge marble columns, absolutely incredible. And over there to the left, you see all the snow-capped mountains, right? Beautiful mountains right behind. And inside you still see some snow that's still here from like last week, right? So luckily for us, we didn't get here with snow because if it's snowing here, you probably won't see any of the structure. It's the Temple of Jupiter. They built it on, a, on this higher platform. The, as you can see there, it has the guard towers to look, overlook the area, the whole area in front of them. This structure to build up, the structure upon are one of the heaviest trucks in the, the whole world. So it's crazy how they lift, it up, uh, lift, it, lift them up to here. This is some sort of mystery still. I mean, I've never seen columns this big. Dude, not even in the Parthenon. Nowhere in the Roman world have I seen them this big. They're massive, and the rocks right here, look at this. Look, you see some of the big ones in the bottom. I mean, they are easily wider than me. So probably like eight feet in width. Wow. And right in front we have the Temple Bacchus. Huge structure. So once you finish exploring the grounds of the Temple of Jupiter, make your way down this stairway, and you get to the Temple of Bacchus. So here we can see most of our uh, top stones have these lions, which symbolizes power and they act like gargoyles. First project water off the roof and then like keep the evil spirits away. They like scare, open mouths to scare away the Three of the biggest stones, they are almost uh, as big and heavy as the, the stones of the Egyptian pyramid. So it's also mysterious how they, they use such big stones to lift them to construct such a temple. I mean, how was it transported here? Look at that. That wasn't here. They brought that here. Yeah, you can probably, it's easy to move it, but it's heavy, it's dif difficult to lift it. So all of the sculptures here symbolize wine and the god of wine. So they sculpted like uh, grapes all over, right? Grapes and vines everywhere. 
of the Temple of Bacchus. Amazing. That's just impressive. Amazing. Mostly, they uh, they carved here on the on the door the stuff the the Romans used to plant all around the area, the vines, the some wheat. You can see all the plants here being carved. So they used to like come here to Baalbek to get their wheat, get their gra grapes. So th it was like I'm coming to Baalbek to collect my agriculture. All right, guys, we're done with the temples. That was amazing. One of my favorite Roman sites of all time. Incredible. And now we're off to get some pies. Some bal, sfiha balbakiye or balbaki meat pies. Okay. And they're squares, right? Yeah, squares. You can add pomegranate molasses on top. No oh. way. Everything with pomegranate molasses is extra delicious, super sweet. Just all right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Meat pies. No, no, no. no. So this is Lucky's Farm. It's a beautiful modern building. It's a huge restaurant. They have a few different sections. So we're gonna eat the Sfiha. So that's what we came here for. But they also have the butcher section. Here they have from farm to fork. They have poultry and then they have breakfast. I love it. Huge ceilings, right? 20 foot ceilings. Beautiful modern building. Beautiful. It's like uh, Sfiha Wonderland. Sfiha Wonderland. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name? Yara. Yara. Yeah. Pleasure, Yara. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. So we're gonna see the Sfiha? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wow. All right, guys. Flour, water to make the dough, lamb meat, tomatoes, and onions for the Haida. They make them into squares, as you can see here. Fast production. You gotta serve some Sfihas. Best Sfiha in town. Yes. <laughs> it's an amazing assembly line. So you have four guys going non stop. This guy's making them into balls. Yeah. This guy's flattening. 24, 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah? Come here. yeah. Wow. The morning. 24 wanna... hours open? Yes, you here. You come here at hours. 4 in the morning? Yes. No way. Here in Stura branch. Amazing. Yes. Okay, I I'm excited. I need to have one of these like right now. Yes. I'm starving. It's loaded, Nico. Look at that, guys. How many? They just came straight out of the oven. Amazing. Look at this. Delicious. Beautiful. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So everything is from your farms. Yes. Nothing is yes. is outsourced, Even right? Even dairy products, vegetables, uh, meat, everything. Here we go. Super fresh, straight out of the oven. Mm. Very delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. The lamb. Mm, the onions. The bread super soft. Same time a little crispy on the outside. I'm blown away. This is the best meat pie of all time. Super juicy, nice and moist. Mmm, it's still really hot. And here we go, straight into the kitchen. Let's see them bake them. And that's how it's done, right? So they just roll them out, and put the lamb in, throw them into bake. It takes like five minutes, then it comes out, puts them here, lets them sit. Then when the orders come in, the guy puts them onto the plate and they go out to eat. Very simple, and this is just one of the branches. They do 650 kilos a day right here in this one branch. Amazing. Guys, thank you. He wants to be famous. A very skilled worker. Look, look how fast. Look. It's amazing. Here, I just heard them, they don't, you don't buy by piece, you buy by kilograms. One, two, three kilograms. On the go, man. That was like incredible. Yeah. So yeah. out, my friend. You're famous now. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Yes. Fatty sfiha, fatty. Made sfiha with yogurt. Here's some ghee, nuts on top, and a bit of garlic, maybe with the yogurt. Few. Wow! Look at this sfiha. So you have like eight different sfihas here. You have some nuts, you have yogurt, and clarified butter. Right? Just get in here. Is it hot? Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh my god. Oh, so good. Crunchy, mmm, and it's nice and cold yogurt. Wow, just get it in like that. How many can I eat? All of them. Delicious. You like it? Love the yogurt. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So good. So nutty. Mm-hmm. With a parsley, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Wow. Fatisfiha is our signature in Balbik branch. 
Soon it will be in Zahle and Stura. This is the best yogurt I've ever had. Yeah, man. So Amazing. It's like it's creamy, but it's still very liquidy. It's phenomenal. We have the products from our own farms and factories, our meat from our own slaughterhouse. Everything in this place is organic and related to our farms and factories, our own ones. The reason why I think it's the best yogurt of all time is that I literally forgot all the rest, but this one is so good. Wow, nice and light. Mm. Oh yeah. You are the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice Thank you. you. Pleasure. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. And that is it, my friends. We saw Baalbek, the Roman temple's incredible historical ancient site. And then we came here to Lakis Farm to have Sfiha. Yep. Oh That's my it. gosh. What a delicious pie. One of the best lamb pies of all time. Super nice, crispy, bite sized. We also had it with yogurt. Oh, so good. Man, I am so impressed with this place. Yeah. Baalbek, what a must. Amazing, oh, amazing though. Amazing place. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Lebanon. Let's go. Mm -hmm.